Hi right, guys, Prime Mega here with the Transformers Universe review. I just got this earlier on today. It's Challenge at Cybertron, Galvatron, Cyclones, Nightstick, and Rodimus 3 pack. These are repainted like they were in G1. Don't know what the hell's up with Galvatron, though, he's all white. Um, yeah, so very nice. I am. I particularly got this for the Rodimus and Cyclonus mold because I don't have them yet. Particularly pleased with them, actually. Very, very pleased. I had to make a couple adjustments on Rodimus's face, though, so. But other than that, perfect. Perfect. Awesome three pack. It is a new three pack. Um, I checked on Wikipedia as well. Yes, yes, I know. I tend to search a lot of things. It's. The. Um, came out this year in 2010 um, I checked that before I got it and I figured it out when I got it because it came with the cardboard twist tires instead of the traditional plastic ones anyway let's have a look at the box <coughs> nice picture of Galvatron, Cyclonus and Rodimus there yeah Rodimus does have pictures of flames there, he does actually have the flames they're just very very they're in a different tone of yellow. G1 series, Galvatron, Rodimus, Cyclonus. We're nice to get. Nice pictures on the back. Oh, the box is not packed up again properly. Right, here we are. Galvatron, Cyclonus, nice pick. Rodimus. Alright, let's start off with Galvatron stats. Strength 10, Intelligence 9, Speed 9, Endurance 10, Rank 9, Courage 9, Fire Blast 9, Skill 10. Well, you can tell he's quite strong. Quite, quite good altogether in that case. And Cyclonus? Strength 8, Intelligence 8, Speed 9, Endurance 8, Rank 9, Courage 9, Fire Blast 7, Skill 7. Rodimus, my favourite at the back. Strength, no, yeah, strength eight, intelligence nine, speed nine, endurance six, rank five, courage nine, fire blast eight, skill seven. And there is um the bio. Galvatron has formed what was once a loose confederation of assassins and warlords into an army capable of threatening the entire universe. Cyclonus wields enough might to sterilize the surface of an inhabited planet by him no inhabit inhabited world by himself. Together they face off against Rodimus, a brave but inexperienced about. They called him Rodimus, I know he's got a hot rod vehicle mode. They called him Rodimus because they no longer have legal rights over hot rod. Which, I don't actually mind, I quite like the name Rodimus, it kind of makes him all superior up there with Optimus. What I read, what, I, what someone pointed out to me, well, I need to kind of figure it out. Look at Cyclonus' stats, look at Rodimus's. He's stronger. He's not. Anyway, this is going to be in a three-part review. I'm going to start off with... Ooh, Rodimus. So, move Galavatron. And Cyclonus, when I stick out of the way. So now. He is, like I say, he's a G1 kind of repaint thing. They've repainted him in the G1 colours. I don't know if you can tell, but if I get to the light, it shows the flames. Let's have a look. No. Well, if you do get the set yourself, it's sort of like lighter coloured. Oh, so like a brighter colour flame in the middle there. It is a lot more visible when you actually hold it in person. You actually get used to being get used to it being there, so you tend to notice it more. His missile is in there. You can just yeah. He has the Autobot symbol on the front. Good. Unlike the classics one, the Henke one does, but this one has like the G1 looking flames. Oh wait a minute. You can just about see them there. Like G1 style looking flames. Anyway, at the end of the, each review, I'm going to do some 
pictures on so you can actually see. So this is not, this vehicle mode, very nice, just get rid of the missile there. Right, the transform well, actually looks quite good like that, the oversized spoiler and everything. It works quite well. I'll go and get, well, I've got a couple of comparisons here for him, apart from Cyclonus and the Galvatron. As you can see, Cyclonus is a bit taller, but generally Rodimus looks a bit bigger. Galvatron, same thing really, looks bigger, but Rodimus is actually smaller than him in real life, so... I shall go and see if there are any more comparisons. Now, nah, here we are, found some. <coughs> right, here is animated Bumblebee. The thing is about this, Rodimus, I'm going to show you there. He is actually quite low down to the ground. They saw I got his rope moon, sort of squashed it as low as they can possibly can. They possibly can. So he is quite, he's quite long, but he's quite short. So that's Bumblebee. And here he is with a couple of ra other random ones. G.I. Joe, Rise of Cobra, Storm Shadow and Cobra Commander lying down. Parish of Suit. Yeah. So, there's a three. To transform him, pretty simple enough. Bring... Oh yeah, he does have an attack mode. But, it's basically that with the missile out, so it's not very good. Makes a lot of the weird crossbow thing. Right, what you want to do, fold these like this. Fold this spoiler down like that. Actually, I prefer that to tap mode. Yeah. Um, right, um, there are some things on the wheels here. Push up, and the wheels will push up. Then pull these panels down. Same on the side. Not going to go into great detail on the review because just about everybody's seen the figure transform. There he is, basically in robot mode. Don't you see the flames in this bit? Yeah, you can. There you can see there's sort of like a lighter yellow colour around there. Anyway, this is sort of like they could have used a darker orange on the back here, but because it's like a very, very bright orange, so you can't really tell. You can tell better on the picture on the box. Yeah. Very nice little figure. When I say little, I mean little. It shouldn't. Right, um, I do have a robot mode comparison for it. Right, what I have here is... Uh, is Wolf Cybertron Bumblebee. So, as you can see, he is actually quite tall, a bit taller than Rodimus, so... Shit, I'm running out of time. Um, Wolf Cybertron Optimus. So, Optimus is taller again. I do not have the classics or universe deluxe Optimus to compare them with. There's Drift, Univer um, Generations Drift, another recent figure. And Thrust. And just for fun, let's add. Classic strong. There we go. Very nice little figure, very articulate. Um, he does have his gun on his back. Just pull it off. Stick the missile into it. I know a lot of people keep tend to keep the missile out, but if it's a missile launcher, then let it launch. Fires reasonably far. Actually, no, it doesn't. <laughs> well, still, good novelty. Right, this is the end of this. Oh no, wait a minute, one more thing. He does have his buzz saw that he used in the film. So, it's like the cutting off the fish thing. So that's the end of this review. Well, part one. See you at part two.